Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan Once Tech here with the follow-on to my last video. This one was requested by a few people on my last video, how to use a PlayStation 3 controller with a Mac, but of course if there's a Mac method, there has to be a Windows method, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Now, unfortunately, unlike the Mac method, which is just plug and play, the Windows method does require you to download a piece of software called Motion Enjoy, which is a free app. I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. You can download and install that when we get there. But Motion Enjoy is not the easiest app in the world to use. It is a little bit complicated visually, but we'll go through it in detail when we get there. Uh, it is compatible with Bluetooth or USB, so if you want to install it via Bluetooth, if you have a Bluetooth adapter installed in your computer, you can use Bluetooth. Or if you just want to plug it in via USB, you can do that too. And finally, as well as having a computer, the PlayStation controller itself, and the Motion Joy software, you will need a mini USB cable. They look like this. I'll give you guys a close-up up here so you know what they look like. They come with the controllers themselves, and most people will have these in their house anyway, but they come with pretty much everything nowadays. So you will need one of these to install your PlayStation controller. So the first thing you have to do is download and install the software. The link is below. When you download that, you'll find a zip folder. Unzip that, and inside you'll find the installer. Run through that, and when you're finished, make sure to restart your computer. Once you restart, you're now ready to configure your PlayStation 3 controller. So at this point, you should be back on your desktop. And before you think about installing via Bluetooth, we have to install via USB first. So have your mouse ready to open up DS3 tool, which you just installed, before you plug in your controller so we can load the drivers. So get your USB cable and plug it into the back of your PlayStation 3 controller. Windows should recognize it and if it's the first time you plugged it in, you should see a little window open up to install the drivers. Uh, it's not coming up for me because I already plugged it in, but when that comes up, open up DS3 tool and in here go up to Driver Manager. In Driver Manager you should see a list of the available ports. If you have more than one, make sure to tick all the boxes. I just have one so just take the one box and click Load Driver. In here just click Install. And now the drivers are installed via USB, so your controller can now be used. You go into Game Controller Panel right here, into Properties, and you'll see that all the buttons do work properly via USB. So if you want to use controller via USB, that is how that's it installed. If you want to install via Bluetooth, though, here's how to do that. So make sure your controller is still connected via USB. Then go up to the top and choose Bluetooth Pair. Make sure your Bluetooth adapter is right here in the list. Mine won't come up because I'm running Windows in a virtual machine, so it won't work. But make sure your Bluetooth adapter is right here in the list. Then make sure your DualShock 3 controller is connected via USB down here. And click Pair Now. Windows should do its work. And when it's finished, unplug the USB cable from your controller. Wait for Windows to connect via Bluetooth. Then go into Profiles again to make sure Bluetooth has connected. Click Vibration Testing, and if your controller vibrates, you know your Bluetooth connection has been established. So that is how to install a PlayStation 3 controller on Windows. Motion Enjoy has been in the works for a long time now, so hopefully at this stage all the bugs have been worked out. But if you have any problems, make sure you comment below and I'll try and help you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like these. And I'll see you next time.